will never give up until the very idea of Keystone XL is dead and buried. People in front of the White House are demanding that President Obama deny approval of the Keystone XL pipeline. In the summer of 2011, a movement was sparked. Our sands are the turning point in our fossil fuel addiction. Despite a Washington consensus that the pipeline was sure to be approved within a year, we're all going to commit nonviolent direct action. 1,253 people went to jail. We will stop whatever pipeline you try to build. Then, people all over the country started taking to the streets. We converged on the White House again to surround it. We stand together and oppose this pipeline. President Obama, do the right thing! The northern leg was pushed back a year. We do not have to sacrifice to meet Trans Canada's bottom line. On the southern leg, resistance escalated. This is my land. This pipeline will not go without a fight. February 2013, we made history again with the largest climate rally this country's ever seen. Thousands of people marched past the White House. They call for President Obama to reject the Keystone XL pipeline. If this pipeline goes through, it will be at the cost of human life. And as the pipeline slowly crept back, once more we started appearing at every presidential event. President Obama has made some big promises. The pipeline's impact on our climate will be absolutely critical to determining whether this project is allowed to go forward. Now it's time to finally draw the line to stop Keystone XL. On September 21st, across the United States, we will defend the places threatened by climate change, and we will tell President Obama that there is no turning back. The question is, is he going to raise a heavy hand of big oil, or is he going to raise the hand and the spirits of the American people? Go to 350.org and sign up for an event to draw the line on Keystone XL.